Eleanor Dillon here, and today we are going to be interviewing Ernest Dillon. Thank you, Ernest, for coming here today. That's my pleasure. Okay, Ernest, so what was the first pony you ever rode? Oh, the first pony I rode was Robin. Robin was 50 years old when I first rode him. He died when he was 54, but during his life, he was the scourge of the neighborhood. He'd knock the window cleaner off his ladder, he'd steal fruit from the green grocer, and he'd chase the delivery boys on their bicycles up and down the road. He was a terror. Well, he sounds very interesting and a right little character. Oh, he was that. So, what is your favorite drink? Ah. Scotch. Oh, gotta go for the original. What was the first show you ever competed in, and what pony did you ride? Pony I rode was called Spangles. He was a lesson horse at the Northern Equitation Centre. Well, a lesson pony. He was only 13 and 2. And the competition was a little unaffiliated show in the indoor school, which was about the size of my car. <laughs> and I came fourth. Well, I guess you can't win everything. What's your favourite actor or actress? Well, my favourite actor is a guy called Anthony Hopkins, who I'm told I look vaguely like. So he is definitely my favorite. He's extremely good looking. <clears throat> and my favorite actress is, um, oh my Lord, it's gone out of my head. I'll have to think about it. Well, Julie Christie. Okay. <laughs> How many times did you go to the yard a week? I used to go every single Saturday and Sunday. I used to get up early, cycle to the yard, and I would work all day. And then I'd cycle back and fall asleep. And then sometimes I would go during the week. How many miles did you cycle? 10 miles there, 10 miles back. Wow. What pony did you ride when you had your first ever jump? First ever jump was a pony called George. He was a 12-2 Welsh mountain pony, and him and his two uh, partners in crime, there was George, Topper, and Willie, <laughs> and they were terrors. They used to gallop about everywhere, and we used to fall off them regularly. Sounds like all the ponies were terrors. Yep. <laughs> what, what's your favorite film? Oh, I, I love westerns. Uh, I'm an absolute western buff. One of my favorite films is True Grit, John Wayne with his patch and his the hell with you attitude. It's absolutely brilliant. Before you reached 20 years old, what was the highest jump you jumped? Oh, gosh. Uh, I reckon maybe one meter 20. Very good. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is anything edible, but I do like a good juicy steak. Oh, we've got to all love the steaks. What was the favorite place you ever competed at? Without a doubt, Hickstead. Hickstead's the best place in the world. But sometimes when I went to Hickstead, it was very muddy, sometimes very wet, sometimes very cold, but most of the time, very enjoyable. Got to love Hickstead. When did you buy your first horse? Well, funnily enough, I didn't buy a horse until I was 25 years old. When did you ride your first horse? I rode my first horse when I was about 13 or 14. What was, the, what was your favorite kind of music? Oh, I've got a very eclectic um, uh, collection of music. I like everything from op opera to rock and roll. I, I absolutely love music. Um, I, I like the Beatles and I like the Rolling Stones, but I also like Tchaikovsky and, and Bach and Western. Johnny Cash being my favorite. <laughs> How many horses were you responsible for a day? Uh, we used to look after three, mostly. But at one time when I was in Ireland, I looked after four horses that went to the Mexico Olympics. Wow. When did you see your first Grand Prix horse competition? Well, my old boss, Cyril Johnson, took me to the Horse of the Year show where I watched some of these amazing people jumping these amazingly big jumps. But I want to make one thing clear. Grand Prix means big prize. It doesn't necessarily mean an international full-blown Grand Prix. When did you decide that you wanted to teach people? I decided when I was very young, when I was not much older than you actually, because I really liked the way Cyril and Dorothy Johnson taught people and I uh, appreciate 
how incredibly um, grateful everybody they taught really well was. What was your favorite horse at the riding centre? I had so many, but my favorite horse was a little horse I used to ride called Peppy and another one called Fourpenny Fair. What's your favorite theatre performance? Oliver. What was your first dog's name and what was he or she like? My first dog was called Rex and he was a mutt. <laughs> yeah. How long were you at the riding school? Oh, on and off, about eight years. Nice. What other sports did you do? I loved tennis, I loved skiing, I loved golf, but I haven't played golf in some time. And I just like watching every sport. I like watching rugby, I like watching soccer. I like watching cricket, tennis. I just like sport. I think sport's the best thing. Oh, and show jumping. Yes, of course. <laughs> what was the first Grand Prix you ever competed in? Well, again, I'd, I'd like to say Grand Prix being big prize. The first time I jumped in the main ring at Hickstead was a pretty big competition. And I was young and stupid. I didn't know anything about anything. And so I went and entered and we didn't do too badly. <laughs> what was the last Grand Prix you ever competed in and what horse did you ride? I've no idea what the last Grand Prix I rode in was, but I know the horse was Megan. No, Megan. What's your favorite holiday destination? Anywhere where the sun, sea and sangria. <laughs> I like Portugal a lot, but I've spent some time in the south of France also. Well, Ernest, thank you for coming today, and we'll see you all next time. Well, thank you for having me. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone.